All right, guys, so the wing is glassed. I put uh, three coats, top and bottom. Um, just uh, so you can see the glare from there. It's nice and shiny. Um, so, finished uh, right now with the glassing, and so I was excited to try out the, uh, the landing gear. I just installed one for now. Um, got here my Robert pop. Uh, that's just, uh, that's not the original that's gone, that air tank uh, that's gonna go on the plane. This is a small one. I just bought it to try out the landing gear. So <clears throat> here goes uh, gear up, or I'm sorry, gear down. Yep, there you go. Gear is down. It's locked in place, nice and solid. Gear down. There you go. It's not coming up. It's locked in. It's locked in with that the little hook. Pretty good. Looks good. Gear down. Oh. Move the valve. Gear down. Nice and slow. One more time. Gear down. Pretty cool. All right guys, so I wanted to load up a video on the engine. So uh, this is a true turn hub or spinner, whatever it is. I'm not sure if, I think it's a hub. Um, this is the uh, Bila uh, 22 by 23 bladed propeller, as you can see from there. And then I got my baffles in there installed by uh, CH Ignition and then my Sato if that's the Sato FG90 R3. And so um, this cowl is originally from the Black Horse uh, Giant Scale Corsair. I bought it because I didn't want to mess with the cowl and fiberglassing or making a new uh, cowl for, for the engine. But as it turns out that this, uh, where it stands right now, which the clearance, it's okay. I could go a little bit further up uh, and that gives me a little bit more play in a cow but it's very minimal as you can see from there I already grinded uh, some of it and I some of the fiberglass because the valve covers were were hitting the, the cow and so I ended up uh, going through on some on some areas like this one you can see the, the valve cover there and I believe on this side as well, right uh, there, it's already coming through. So, and even when I put it uh, about a half an inch or so away from the blade, it still is very, very, very tight. I don't, I probably have like one sixteenth of an inch of play. And so, as I'm thinking about it, uh, I think it's way too tight and so, um, I don't really want to open up holes here and leave them open. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I've seen other guys do that. They just dremel that space and allow the valve covers to come out and that solves the problem, but I don't like that. All right, guys, so I'm going to attempt to fiberglass this, uh, this cowl. This is a plastic cowl that comes with the Top Fly Giant Scale Corsair. Um, it comes in three pieces, actually four top, two sides of the bottom, uh, <coughs> on the middle, and the one on the back. So <coughs> that's what I'm gonna attempt to do right now. Um, got some tools here to fiberglass. I bought this uh, resin from Home Depot. See how it works out. And then I'll put the, the cloth in there, the fiberglass cloth. Um, that is the Black Horse 
decal. Um, but uh, this is just a little bit bigger, wider than this one. So that's why I'm going to attempt to fiberglass this one, see how it comes out and utilize this one instead of that one. But if this doesn't work out, then I have this fallback. So we'll see. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I just um, fiberglass the outer shell of the uh, cowl. Um, put two coats on it, fiberglass resin. Um, not the best job. I was kind of wondering what to do here on this, on this round end of the uh, cowl and so I just cut pieces and kind of overlapped them um, so you could see here the seams of where it's overlapping and sticking up so uh, plus it, it was drying on me and kind of did a sloppy job there so I'm gonna have to do a lot of sanding hey what's going on guys so I got the uh, uh, the stock cowl the plastic cowl I got it fiberglassed I went ahead and fiberglassed the exterior um, not I didn't make a mold I actually just fiberglassed the plastic uh, cowl that comes with the kit so um, later I'm going to cut this section and form the actual cowl flaps open them up a little bit uh, detail them a little bit and then glue them in place so they can have better airflow when uh, when the plane is on in flight and so um, I think this is the route I'm gonna take um, if you can see from here with the light I grinded some of the plastic almost hitting the uh, the, the actual um, uh, fiberglass on the exterior and that gives me about an eighth of an inch of play inside the cowl at the proper distance from the prop which I'm going to keep it about right there which is I would say maybe three quarters or or even close to an inch that's where I'm going to keep the cowl and in that position I have I have play uh, it's not actually hitting the, the the valve covers. It has about one eighth of clearance in the actual valve covers, and so and I can actually grind a little bit more plastic if I want to, um, which I will. Uh, just leaving the bare uh, skin of the of the fiberglass, so I can have even a thirty second or a sixteenth of an inch more of clearance and then glue it in place and I shouldn't have any issues uh, with the valves uh, hitting the cowl and then I'll touch it up fill all these little imperfections little holes dings in the, in the cowl and then prime it and so on so um, satisfied with the, the turnout of this of this cowl I'm no longer going to be using the uh, um the cow for the black horse corsair uh because it's just too tight for this uh, sado fg90 um it fit, fits perfect to to the kit to the actual um, fuselage uh just not with this engine so uh, i'm gonna take the baffles away from there and glue them in this new cow uh, if you're in need of a black horse giant scale Corsair cow, um, I'm more than happy to sell it to you. Just keep in mind that I did grind a little bit from the inside, uh, but that's no big deal. You can just put some fiberglass on through the inside, little patch it, patch it up, and it's ready to go. So um, if you want to purchase it, let me know, hit me up, and I can definitely sell it to you if you want it. Um, so that's where I'm at cow is good pleased with the turnout just got to cut out those uh, flaps and then uh, mount the actual uh, or glue in the mounting uh, uh, blocks of uh, wood into the firewall so I can start mocking the, uh, uh, the, 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 the cow 
and just leave it in place so I can start working on the fire on the on the fuselage. So, oh, so there you go, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Any tips are welcome. Thanks for watching.